Hardcore Cynic here with Tablin Tyrant Reviews, and this is Junk Jack by Pixbits. And if you read the review, and always I hope you do, you'll know that I was a bit meh on this game. There are definitely parts of it I like. It has a, a gorgeous aesthetic, it has a lot of depth, but uh, I had, pr personally, I had problems with the uh, control system, uh, control scheme. Um, I had uh, just, a uh, just a bunch of little sort of niggling things that keep this from getting much higher than it actually was that sort of make it less than it could have been but that's enough for fretting for me here's the main menu uh, you have an option you can uh, make three different you have an option of three different worlds procedurally generated random uh, rather large from what I've seen I uh, uh, little uh, Exclamation point triangle is how you can back up your progress, which is an interesting addition I have not seen in a lot of other sort of creative games like this. So it's a nice touch. I do like that. Uh, let's take a look at some other options. Uh, you can change whether or not continuous time to be on. Uh, you can adjust sounds, whether you want peaceful mode or not, which adjusts mobs and um, things like that. Whether you want to tap to move or hold to move whether you want items to have outlines, um, whether you want to hold on a block to break it, or just tap over and over and over again. Uh, I don't like tapping over and over and over again, so I obviously chose holding down. There's uh, the in-game store, uh, which I get the, they're not, the, the prices aren't bad, a lot of it, it's just sort of aesthetic stuff. Um, Although I do, I do like that uh, sometimes the sheep will drop water. These sometimes some of these items will drop stuff like the slime hat drops gunpowder. Um, that's just an aesthetic thing to give more money to developers. Complete craft book is really the only really useful thing uh, because you don't have access to the craft book uh, when you start the game, which is kind of annoying. You find recipes randomly by breaking blocks. The recipes are random, the blocks are random, and it's not a system I really like. That's another one of the problems I had, which ties into the larger problem of just sort of the game's overall difficulty. Uh, the sheer amount of depth makes it very hard for people who are new to sort of get into it. And even people who are experienced with these sort of games, um, you know, I have a feeling that quite a few of them would just scratch their head and say, this is a bit much. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Because not everybody wants to go to the wiki every time they have a question. You can see there's a button that goes, takes you straight to the wiki or to a forum. Uh, we're going to jump right into World 2 here. It's a world that I've already got going. As you can see, it um, the graphic, graphically it looks very solid. This is uh, It's definitely something I like. Uh, in the movie, just hold down in the direction you want him to go, or Jack to go. Oops. Although sometimes... Oh! A zombie. It wasn't there before. Uh, yeah. And you break blocks, obviously you just move up and tap on them. And I got an achievement. Destroy a hundred stone blocks. That's pretty much what you do. All right, I got to, uh, let's see, just go over and some of the buttons. You can see I have uh, the pause button at the top. You hit that, it'll save the game, and you can exit, you can back up, you can resume, and that sort of stuff. Uh, there's your health next to it. There's, at the bottom of the screen here, the little bag icon is your current inventory. Uh, you can see I've got all sorts of stuff at the moment. Oh, another one of the problems is you can't really easily tell what some of this stuff is. You have to actually click on another button first. You have to click on this magnifying glass. Like, because I have stone pickaxe selected, it tells me, excuse me, that's a stone pickaxe. And I have wood bridge and purple goo. I don't know what the Valentine Heart does. I think that's an add-on thing that was part of a latest update. Ice shards and leaves and whatnot. You can basically collect anything in the game. Which does lead to another problem of just sort of inventory bloat. And because you don't know what goes with what, like me, I'm reluctant to throw anything out because, oh, it turns out I needed that later on. Um, 
in the little book. This is sort of a introductory tutorial type thing, and uh, it also has recipes. The at least the tutorial it has some recipes in it already, just sort of the basic stuff. It has controls and the special moves like the the dash jump, sort of Mario esque type thing. Um, yeah, wood planks and shovels and pickaxes. You can see if I go to here and go backwards, it tells me how to make chests and colored wool and jewel crafting. There's a lot of depth, as I've mentioned. You can have farms with animals and huge amounts of uh, things to grow, a cooking section, uh, and smelt ingots and whatnot. And see the different tabs up here at the top. This is the basically the recipes I've found. Something that is nice is that if you find a recipe in one world, it'll carry over to another world. And actually, anything you find in one world will carry over to another world, which some people may not like. Just sort of, maybe they'll think it's too easy. But yeah, like I found iron bucket and straight support. And I make fuses. And bowls and compact blocks and whatnot. And yeah, that's how that works. Oh, I, I didn't show off the last tab. Which is just sort of special things. In this case, it's a skeleton statue. Show that you killed many skeletons. And the last button down here at the bottom is the map. And you can... You can't... Hmm, I thought you could scroll. You can't. You can zoom out, though, to just see the sort of world at large here. And you can escape just by tapping. And uh, yeah, that's how that works. So let's see if I can make anything new. What's up, dude? Uh, yeah, just moving on up. You see the, the dash jump they talked about um, or that was mentioned in the tutorial section of the book. You just swipe across the diagonal space of an empty block and you'll jump. Uh, there is, is a two plane system which means you can mine out blocks in the background here just sort of if you want to put uh, blocks of your own choice in there like if you want to have if you're making a house you want to have a brick wall and a uh, uh, you know a wood interior I'm gonna fill that up with some dirt and I'm gonna put my shovel back because I don't really need dirt at the moment Right here is a workbench. You can make more complicated things here. See, I've got a, an axe recipe ready to go. Um, I do kind of need another axe, so I'll make one of those. Stack it. I do like that you can s stack items, although I'm pretty sure that is sort of commonplace. Um, and you can separate things by tapping on them, or separate them into stacks and whatnot. I don't like that you can't uh, select, see info for the thing that you can build. It's like, I can see that this is a plank, but I can't see what'll happen when I make whatever this is. I don't even know what that is. Let's see, it is a small wood plank, great. I have no idea what that'll be useful for. Uh, she got a couple of enemies out there and this is another problem I had some of these enemies are really small and they can be very difficult to hit and I want to show that off but I'm afraid I'm gonna get killed oops which you know would be sort of the risk I run let's see if I can find some people who are not sort of clumped up on top of themselves Nope. I see these, that's uh, coal in the ground there. It's pretty useful. Actually, that is quite useful, so let's dig that out. Boom. Now I knocked down my... Uh, pro, uh, start of a farm there. Or the... Uh, the frame. Straight wood support. It's used for, like, various things in farming. Like uh, vines or whatnot, if you want to make grapes. Uh, put 
Um, you can see if you don't have anything in the background, it'll automatically put something in the background. So I'm going to put a torch there. Good, I have a bit more light. That's very nice. But I have no way to get back up to that section of the world. So I'm going to have to knock that out, actually. Uh, yeah, that's... We got some stuff I can gather here. Looks like bamboo. And this is papyrus, which you use to make paper, which I actually do have some paper already. In the chest here. Chests work as you would expect them to. And we got... I have no idea what any... You know, I'm gonna see what some of the... Oh, that I can use bamboo for. Because now I'm curious. What do I do with it? Oh, damn it. Okay. Ac controls are a little bit finicky, as I mentioned before. What can I do? Oh, I can make whatever that is. I have no idea what it is. So let's... That is a bamboo wall. Very nice, very fancy. I, uh... As I mentioned before, a lot of depth here. I really do appreciate that. That is, uh, that's quite cool. For someone like me who loves a great amount of depth, it's pretty awesome. And I think I'm going to... First, I'm going to break this bush, just get it out of the way. Do I need these leaves? Can I make anything with these leaves? Yes, I can. I have no idea what that is either. Let's find out. Leaves. Oh, it's just like the stuff on trees. Well, that's useful. Can I make anything with that? No. Does not appear to be the case. Probably should not be doing this outside because I'm probably going to get my butt kicked. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to plant some stuff. See, there's a sheep bounce around there in the background. Now it's grass in the way. Come on, come on, get knock the grass out and put bamboo there. And we can get rid of this papyrus and we'll put some more bamboo in. Aha! I think I picked up grass seed, which I don't really want. Uh, yeah, I did. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so that was that. We're coming up on daytime now. Uh, let's see. Let's muck around and see if we can make some more stuff. I don't really need leaves. They don't strike me as being useful at all. Some of the other things in my inventory here, we got stone, we got clay. Oh, trees grew. We got dirt, wood, nails. Let's get rid of these. We don't need, I don't need leaves. Leaves. Um, put those torches back in my, uh, sort of quick select there. Got, uh, come on, ice shards, wood, feathers. Might have noticed the enemies haven't gone away. It's not like Minecraft where they will be sort of chased away by the sun. Uh, basically, they are there forever until you sort of cycle out. Like, if you turn um, hostile mobs on and off, they'll go away and you'll get new ones. Uh, I'm going to attack this sheep. I'm going to get some wool, some more round wool. I thought I picked up more. I thought I had more. Uh, I knew I had some brown raw wool already, but I thought I picked up more than that. I guess not. Let's take a look. <gasps> Piggy. Give me your meats. That was creepy. Uh, but I got some pig meat. Yum. I can possibly start cooking. I cannot jump. And I should be able to... Yeah, that was awesome. Sort of... Sorry if my voice sounds a little quiet. I'm kind of hunching over the screen away from the microphone. It's not really the best, you know, system to do this. Oh, and I got a little... This box is a chest. There should be some goodies inside it. Random stuff. Looks like nails and arrows and whatnot. Uh, did I get anything sort of newish? No, I just got more nails, it looks like. 
Well, that's nice. Um, yeah, some more coal there. Get a little cave here. So I want to, or I could fall down like a dummy. Jump? No, no. I guess I'm not going to be able to make it. Darn. Okay. Um, that sort of curtails my exploration in that direction. Do 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 oh, bamboo's growing, that's nice. Let's do some more digging. Maybe I'll find some some stuff down there. Oh, come on. Don't bounce off the ladder, go down it. Okay. Let's start mining Let's mining some more. Mining down, dig down, do a little diggy do. I kind of need my torches out instead of my dirt. Where did my torches go? There they are. And we are. Oh, it looks like a bit more coal there. I can't really see. Yeah, we got coal. Ooh, we got some kind of metal. I actually kind of need to make ladders. Oh, you're, that's a different enemy now. It used to be a zombie, now it's some sort of worm. Consistency. Not happening on screen in Junk Jack. You can see that sort of gray thing under the ground there? That's actually, like, metal. I don't know why the world has random sort of strips of metal. But, uh... You know, it's just weird. If I can remember how to make ladders, that'd be great. Because I haven't actually found the, uh... Sort of... I, a uh, page for them. Oh, what were they? Is it like... So? No. Is it like... Um... No, it's not like that. Not like that. Is it something akin to Damn it, I don't I don't want to have to look at the wiki just to remember how to make frickin' ladders. Uh What's that? That's a I think a wood wall. How do I make with the ladders? I think that's a bucket, a wooden bucket. And that's not it. The excitement never ends with Junk Jack. Ah, oh, come on. All right, uh, I don't want to go to the wiki, so I guess we're not going to be making any ladders. Been such a, it was such a long time since I made that last ladder, I don't remember how to do it. Oh, wait. I bet it has to do with nails. You can see there are sort of gray specks in there, in the ladder. So I bet I have to use nails in some fashion. Uh, yeah, you get to watch me more do more of this. This, this is going to be uber fun. Why did it turn that way? That's obnoxious. Let's see if I can figure out how this works. There we go, ladders. All right, let's make a bunch of those. There are not too many because I kind of need those nails for later on. 15 ladders should be good. And 10 nails left. 25 planks. And we'll put the ladders in my inventory. We don't need uh, an axe underground. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. He's got a very Mario-like set of motions, Junk Jack does. And we'll... I want to see what that metal is, so I'm going to dig down. And then I can ladder back up. 
Okay, so I picked up something. Iron lump. Yes, I got iron. I can smelt that bad boy as soon as I make a furnace. I forgot to make a furnace. Mm. Well, we got a nice sort of ladder here. I can chip things out of the wall. Very nice. Get some more coal. I'll need that for smelting. Go down the ladder. Control better, game. I kind of want to jump out that hole and fight the worm. Nah. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see if there's any enemies up top I can fight. Should be. I mean, it's nighttime now. Oh, come on. Make the jump. Oh, there's a skull all by its lonesome. Skull! Skull! Come here. Come back here. I'm waiting on you. Don't make me come down there. Because I don't want to come down there. Come on. Come back up. Punk. And I got it. And I got a, what looked like a bone. But yeah, in order to fight, you just tap on the enemy you're sort of scuffling with. If I can remember how to make a furnace, I think it's just sort of stone in a circle. In with the torch? I can't see because there's an axe in the way. That looks like a furnace to me. Well, forge. Forge, furnace. And we'll put that right there. And we'll smelt up some iron. And not axes. We're not going to smelt my axes. We're going to take the iron and we're going to put it in with some... Uh... How do you do this? Aha! Alright, and we can... Ow. I accidentally hit myself in my own head. Smelt your first ingot, sweet. Alright, we got two... Or we got two bars of iron there. Two ingot uh, irons of ingot. That was what? Two irons of ink? Brain not worky, no good. And I can use that to make nothing at the moment because I need more. But yeah, uh, that's Junk Jack. It's pretty fun. Uh, if you like Minecraft or you like Terraria, um, I would recommend this. I think there are some issues with it. It controls a little sloppy. And sort of there is a lot of while there is a lot of depth, which I really do like, it is the kind of depth that can be confusing or intimidating to people who come into this for the first time. So I would sort of approach it with a grain of salt. Um, approach it, but be careful. Just realize you're probably gonna have to open up the wiki quite a few times. You're probably gonna have to sort of interrupt your own gameplay to figure out what's going on, which is, some people are more okay with that. I'm sort of not in favor of it because I just like gameplay to be sort of smooth and uninterrupted, but uh, I know some people are more sort of adaptable in that regard. So yeah, that was Junk Jack. It's $2.99 in the App Store. Pick it up if you like the look of this video. Uh, I can sort of qualify and recommend it recommend it in a sort of limited way but uh, yeah i've been poor cynic with tab and tire interviews ta-ta and farewell for more reviews both written and recorded go to www.tablettyrant.com that's www.tablettyrant.com